Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. In the first place, I want to address something. Top praise singer, we love you, sir. I love you more. We are praising because the guy that we put in power knows what he's doing. I'm going to explain to you something. We don't praise rubbish. We don't praise nonsense. The guy in power, President Akande Chilema, knows what he's doing. He's a knowledgeable guy. So that's why we are praising. We don't hype rubbish. So number one thing I want to address is that uh, there are so many youths that have been sending me messages. Uh, Papa, you know, things are not okay. This government is failing us. Money is not circulating. Businesses are going down. The, the answer to this question is very simple. And I will take it one after the other. I, in the next 10 minutes, I'm going to stop this broadcast. I just want you to listen and listen very carefully and make sure that you share this broadcast so that other youths will listen. In the, in the first place, when we are campaigning for President HH, I told you people that uh, at a point I feel so pity for President HH because he's going to... Sorry, Chava. It's going to inherit uh, an economy that is rotting. And this is going to really be difficult for him. And just like I said, he has come in and he has seen that he has seen that the economy is rotting. The economy is nothing to write home about. Concerning the people that are crying to say money is not circulating, are you supporting the fight against corruption? That is the first question that you must ask yourself. And you must be sincere to yourself as you ask yourself this question. The answer must come from you and it must be a very sincere answer. Are you supporting the fight against corruption? Do you know the reason why money is not circulating? Because all the monies are looted and hidden. Sorry, what I'm eating has a lot of chili. Those of you that know Abacha, we understand that it has a lot of chili. Money is not circulating because criminals, PF government, looted all the money. So money will not circulate until they bring back all those money. That is why you need to support the fight against corruption. Whether you are a UPND member, or a PF member, or a neutral citizen of Zambia, you must support the fight against corruption. So that money will come, this money that they stole will be brought back and money will start circulating. Money cannot just circulate just like that, when there is no money. All the money is looted. For example, for example, where are we? Come. For example, look at uh, an ordinary journalist by the name of Faith Mosonda, who that was having over sixty-five million at her home. How many people are like that? So all these monies are looted and hidden. That's why the money is not circulating. So for money to start circulating as a businessman in Zambia, as a businesswoman in Zambia, as a youth in Zambia, for money to start circulating, you must join the fight against corruption. 
so that this all this money will be brought back and money will start circulating again. I know President HH very well. He's someone that doesn't support borrowing. It's not in a haste to run to China and say, bring me millions so that I throw in the country money will start circulating like Eddie Galungu was doing. No. He understands that the economy is dead because of the borrowing that PF did. So the only way he can bring Zambia out of a mess is to manage what he has found and stop borrowing unnecessarily. So that the money that was looted will be brought back put back in the system, and money will start circulating. So you must be patient. Be very, very patient and trust the president. Because believe me, I am CR1. I don't support nonsense. If HH is not doing well, I will tell you it's not doing well. Believe me, by the time all these monies are brought, you will be happy. So support him to get these criminals to bring the money that they stole. Number one. Number two, for, for you PND leaders, you are the problem. The problem, that, the problem that people are having in the country today is you. I mean UP, the ministers in UPND. There are a few ministers that are doing very well, like uh, Mrs. Doreen Mwamba and uh, many of them that are doing very well, that have the same vision with... Uh, with President HH. But most of you are very stupid. You don't know the reason why you were, you were appointed. Everywhere you go, you hear people saying, uh, 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 HH must clean the system. HH, HH alone cannot clean the system. He cannot clean the system. You don't expect HH that has appointed a minister of tourism to leave his office at State House, to go to Ministry of Tourism, to start uh, 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 dissolving the Ministry of Tourism. He has appointed ministers. It is the responsibility of a minister to get into his office, into his ministry, and say, oh no, what is happening here? We don't like it. All of you that we are working with PF, go. As simple as that. It is the responsibility of the minister and the responsibility of the permanent secretary to clean the system where they are working. HH cannot do everything alone. You know, that guy is overworked. He has overworked himself because of the people that he appointed. Sometimes I feel pity for him. I don't know who was making recommendation of all these guys he appointed. Many of them are clueless. They don't know what to do. They don't know. They don't understand politics. You are in no position for 20 years and you didn't learn politics. Many of you actually came from you, uh, MMD, what, what, and so on and so forth. You, you are telling me you don't have experience of politics? When you are appointed by the president, as for example, a minister of mind, it is your duty and your responsibility to get into the ministry and dissolve the ministry and start with your own people. Government is like computer. Until you put a new operating system that you know, you will not be able to operate that computer very well. So if you are, the president has appointed you a minister of sports and you get into the minister of sports, you are not able to dissolve the ministry and bring in your own people. You are a failure. You are the reason why that people are complaining appointed the minister of tourism for example you get in there and you are comfortable working with the same people that that people voted out then you are in trouble one thing about pf the reason why it was so difficult to remove pf out of power was because those guys are so organized in everything they did they were so organized. It was, it was impossible to remove those guys from power. Why? Because they were so organized. When they came into power, the first thing Eddie Galungu did was to make sure that at least half of the judges, he bought them off. Half of the magistrates, he bought them off. If you go to court, even up to today, there are more PF-aligned judges and magistrates than, than actually people that are working for the government. 
there are more and more of them. There are, there, are, there, are, there are a lot of them. Majority of them are supporting PF. Why? Because immediately Edigalungu was, was elected, he chose his own lawyers. I was a victim of Edigalungu. I was a victim of PF. Before they arrest you, before PF arrest you, before they arrest you, they have already spoken to their magistrate. Before these guys were so, so, they were thinking beyond human capacity. Before police come to your house and arrest you, Eddie Galungu and the PF already know the, the magistrate they are taking you to. So for you to win a case when PF was in power, it was impossible. That's why they managed to convict Kambuil. That's why they put Ed, uh, uh, HH, the president, to prison for many months. That is why even when Eddie Galungu was not eligible to stand, they made him to stand through Concord. That is why they were acquitting somebody like Chito Teller. Chito Teller stole millions upon millions of kwacha, hundreds of, a mil of hundreds of kwacha, and then he paid 100,000 and he was acquitted. So these guys understood, this is, so, um, UPND has not understood how government is run. They, 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 they still believe that government is run like business. <laughs> they are doing, they are still doing, we are all Zambians. <laughs> I feel sorry for you. <laughs> this is exactly how it works. This is, and that is if you really, really, really want to achieve something. You must have your own people in the system. UPN doesn't have his own, their own people in the system. Why? Because the people appointed in authority are greedy and they have corrupt mind. They prefer to work with PF people and eat and secure their family than to work with the people that they suffered with while in opposition. That's why you see there is actually people are crying, but there is no ministry that is able to dissolve boards and appointing new people how can you how can you light and darkness cannot work if i talk now you say ah all of us we are all we are all zambians yes if you are all zambians and politics is about eating i think it is the time for the zambians that ate when ed galungu was in power it is time for them to stop eating so that those that have not eaten must come and eat also because we are all zambians people cannot be in government for 20 years and continue eating and in the name of we are all zambians when there are people that have never eaten before is it not the same zambia these people that don't have a job are they not the same zambia it is time for you guys to remove these guys all these guys that worked with PF. It is not the responsibility of HH. Leave HH alone, at least. Allow that guy to sleep. That guy does not sleep at night. Ministers, police, head of services, it is time for you guys to wake up and start dissolving boards. Get rid of people completely from the ministries. Up to today in the Ministry of Information, there are still PF members there. Everyone knows that these guys we are working with PF and they are still there and they are still eating in the name of we are all Zambians. How about the Zambians that have not eaten before? Eh? Are they not Zambians? Eh? Are there people that are more Zambians than others? Eh? If you have eaten for seven years, for four years you were eating with pf and now you want to comfortably come and eat with upnd it means even you as a leader that is saying we are all zambians you are not truthful to yourself because there are people that have not eaten that must come and eat as well the reason why we support politics the reason why people support politics is that so that when they win they eat also it's not something that happens forever and ever it's something that happened within years when your party finishes, you stop eating and allow another person to eat. You are a minister in uh, Kenneth Kaunda. You are a minister in, uh, in uh, 
in a you uh, uh, what is the name rupia banda you are a minister in a uh, in a uh, 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 sata you are a minister in a uh, edgar Lungu. and you admit you want to come and eat again in upnd you are a greedy personality are you the only zambian that has experience and that need to eat those appointed in authority by president are the people that are disappointing him. If, if I was one of those that were appointed, I say, for example, see, I want to go and hold the Ministry of, uh, Ministry of Tourism. Immediately I arrive there, I'm going to dissolve it. And the bringing the people that were in no position with me, because those are the people that understand what is going on. They understand the cry of the people. You bring in somebody that is already rich during the time of Eddie Galungu. What is he going to talk? He's talking the language of the rich. He doesn't have connection with the poor. He doesn't have connection with what is happening on the ground. He's comfortable. The advice he's going to be giving you is comfortable advice. So when I hear ah president, ah president, ah president, this ah president, that is not the president, it's the people that he has appointed. They have refused to dissolve the boards, dissolve the ministries, and they bring in new people. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.